guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So today I'm gonna to be looking at a tiny little handheld called Mighty Kong. Now obviously it's gotta do with Donkey Kong, but it's not officially licensed, so they came up with Mighty Kong. Um, this is made by, I, I don't know, Go? And uh, down in here it says uh, Intertan, uh, whatever. Uh, so these are one of those, um, I, I believe I bought this at Radio Shack. Um, back in when we used to have Radio Shack and I always used to go into the Radio Shack stores and they always had like a, a whole display of these little handheld things and I would just sit there playing them because they'd be on display but this one always caught my eye and I'm like you know I'm a Donkey Kong fan I love Donkey Kong and so I was like you know I kept seeing it there and I kept passing it and passing it off and passing it off and then finally I broke down and just bought it um, as you can see I paid $9.99 for it so I didn't break the bank um, I bought a bunch of these little things, you know, I was always fascinated by the little handhelds and uh, Obviously, I kept it in good shape because it's still in all in the box and everything So let's just uh, take it out Funny enough. I never actually really carried these things around too much to play them I mean I would play them at home for a little bit, but then put it away so This actually came with a with a manual like <laughs> I don't know what uh, what it's gonna tell me, but uh, just says here your mighty Kong game can provide you hours of fun avoid crashing into balls hitting the electric shocks and being killed by the sharp trap while the man is on his way to rescue the girl so the so the man don't have no name the girl don't have no name <laughs> we're not gonna call him Mario um, important all games and toys are made in accordance with the European safety regulations uh, but I'm not in Europe <laughs> So installing the batteries, okay, playing the game, um, you know, very simple manual. I guess it just explains what all the little things are. Find a key, get a key, open a door. So there's a little bit more going on than just getting to the top and uh, saving the girl. You actually have to find a key and stuff. That's okay. So that's the, uh, the manual there. Funny enough, it was actually in a, you know, it's in this little plastic. That's the screw there for the battery. So I had to put the battery in. And it uh, was in a nice little plastic baggie, so I kept it in the baggie, whatever. Just to keep it nice and clean, I guess. And there we go, Mighty Kong. Uh, yeah, I mean, the artwork's okay. You can see it's a big gorilla. Oh, and who's that right there? That looks like, uh, yeah, you guessed it. Um, okay, let's see. We got our little battery compartment here. Uh, see, there's a little screw there. I uh, took the screw out. But, uh, so we got on, off, sound, pause. Because, you know, if you just want to pull this out in a store or something like that and you don't want to, you know, bother people, you can turn the sound off. And then we got the little action. Now, this is weird because the, the fire button is here. And then the, the D-pad, I guess you want to call it that, is over here. So it's a little bit different than we would expect. You know, the D-pad being here and the fire button being here. But that's okay. As it says, up, left, right, down and action well start okay so let's uh let's turn this on um, i'm gonna see if we can uh you know what i might need some light okay so uh i got some light going on now um unfortunately these little things didn't have backlighting so uh yeah i guess that was more expensive but you can see there you can see it kind of is like a donkey kong board um, you can see there's the little ramps you got to run up. There's the ladders. Um, I don't know what this is supposed to be all here. It's like his little house area or something. And there's the door. And there's the monkey. That's the uh, mighty Kong himself. And the girl. So let's, uh, let's try and play this as best as I can. Yeah, some crazy Game & Watch sounds. You see the barrel just kind of goes underneath, or the ball, I should say. Because this isn't Donkey Kong. This is Mighty Kong. Oh, he can't jump there. Oh, no. Uh. You kind of have to jump and, 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 like, hang out in the air for a little while while the barrel passes underneath you. Oh, look at that. I'm on a rope. That's kind of neat. Oh, I just got fried by some lightning bolt. 
That's not cool. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I can see why you'd want to turn the sound off. Even if you weren't disturbing anybody else, it would probably become disturbing to you after a while. You know, this does promise hours of entertainment, so... When you're spending hours playing this game, you probably want to turn the music off and put on your own tunes. Ah, it's really hard to get up there. These balls are relentless. Oops, forgot to jump. <laughs> It's really, really weird game. Oops. Looks like I will not be saving girl after all. We'll wait for the ball to go. Oops, jeez. <laughs> not much uh, give in this game. Ah, game over again. But yeah, I mean, overall, not too shabby. I mean, it plays. You can actually play it. Uh, it's a little bit challenging, and, uh, you know, the sound is a little bit weird. But I, I think it's okay. I, I think maybe if it was a little bit of a bigger screen, uh, you know, they, they put so much plastic in here. I mean, this is tiny. This is like a you know, just a slight, a little bigger than a credit card, but I mean, it's still, you know, it's pretty thin. Um, I think they could have built more screen in there, maybe made it a little bit bigger. Uh, backlight would have definitely helped, but I know they had to keep the cost down. I don't know how much it would cost to like create backlights for these things. A lot of these things didn't have backlights. Like they, they were literally this. So unless you were in a well lit area, you weren't going to see very much. Like I'm down in my man cave here, so it's dark down here. Even I can't barely see that screen when I'm like, you know, sitting in the light. So, so otherwise, you know, it's cool. I, I like it because it's Donkey Kong style. It's Donkey Kong theme. And, uh, you know, it would have been cool to have something like this that actually was Donkey Kong. You know, Nintendo product with Donkey Kong on it and Donkey Kong colors and stuff like that. Um, you know, they, they did make them for those little Coleco um, handheld things or whatever you call them. Little mini arcade things. But those were like back in the 80s and I don't think they've ever reproduced those things. And uh, like we have them now, but they're not from Nintendo. They're like uh, other game companies. Anyways, yeah, this was Mighty Kong. Uh, the box isn't as exciting as this, but you know, this game does promise hours of fun. So, you know, why not? Anyways, hope you liked the video. Let some Leave some comments down below what you think. If you've ever seen this in the stores, if you've ever played this, I always like to hear your thoughts, comments. Leave them down below. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you later.